What's up, YouTube? It's Promise Keeper, and I searched and searched um, for a short people lawnmower handle, um, and I was amazed to find absolutely nothing. There were search results for the best lawnmower for a short person. If I searched for a lawnmower kids could use, it just came back with toys, so that got me nowhere. Um, I took a trial run with some scraps. Uh, we'll throw a photo up so you can look at that. Um, basically, it was all I had on hand in the garage, some random pipes and uh, some angle iron that was slotted. Not everybody's gonna have that laying around. It was, it was a good trial. It worked for what it was, but it was ugly. And the kids kept scratching themselves. So I worked up what I think is our final plan here. Um, Actually, probably the final plan because I can't keep drilling holes in this lawnmower. What you're looking at, let's get us a baseline. Well, this lawnmower handle is 37 inches at its highest. Um, Isaiah, how much did you, how tall were you right at 48 inches? Yeah, 40. So for a, your head's 40 inches? Come here, let's get in the video real quick. Four feet. <laughs> oh, that's 48 inches, goofball. All right, so for a child, 48 inches, when he puts his hands up here and pushes, the lawnmower doesn't want to work for him. He's, he's, he's putting up too much effort. So when he would hit a hill or unlevel ground, as a short person does, the lawnmower just goes straight in the air. We had to figure out how to help him push down on the lawnmower. So the first trial, even though it was a little dangerous because they were getting cut, it worked. Now we're on our final version. And Isaiah, don't put your hands on too tight, but it's, it's still not too tacky. Down here is kind of a comfortable um, elevation for anybody. You can see his elbows wouldn't be much different from mine if I were pushing on the higher bar. So we've, we've got him in a good spot. Um, all right, well don't test it. <laughs> I sprayed this, but we're gonna clear coat it and uh, maybe buy some undercoating type of powder coat. What you're looking at is five, six feet worth of three quarter inch PVC. Um, if we were to give you a breakdown, if you wanted to make one yourselves, uh, this cut length, um, the angle is very difficult. You just kind of have to feel that out. I use the edge of my table saw um, and use that to shape it. We also use a little torch and uh, another metal bar about the same size to try and form some things. Um, but here, from end to end, which if you're considering the takeout in a three-quarter fitting, which is about three-quarter inches, we're looking at 15 and a quarter to 15 and a half for the two sides. Uh, that gives everything a little more stability. Um, PVC, not ideal, but it is really strong. Um, and what I've done is run half-inch all-thread rod top to bottom drilled a hole in these PVC tees and I had considered just leaving him with the bar right here or he could kind of do a pistol grip um, but it again still looked kind of goofy and wasn't ideal uh, it was it was gonna put all the stress right there on these nuts um, so 15 and a quarter 15 and a half on your two sides three-quarter elbow three-quarter elbow and a three-quarter straight T times two that where you can see um, if you've got a drill press, which not everybody does, but it'll make things a lot easier and a lot safer. Um, all I did was put both of these tees on my drill press and straight through. Um, and these were cut center to center, six and three quarter. Um, they've, what we've done up here, if you notice, can you see that real well, Elia? These have a very strange <laughs> look to them. They're contoured. What we did was a uh, propane torch, and it was the metal bar from an old bicycle seat, uh, almost identical in diameter to this. Uh, we set that up in a vise on the table, and I used the torch to heat it up, and we, we gave that a little shape. Um, if you've got the right tools, you can run, uh, again, your table saw through there with the table saw. Your uh, drill press, um, I tried to make use of that for this, but didn't work as well as some good old heat. Now PVC, you want to avoid getting it super hot. Anything you do to it to change it chemically is going to make it weaker. Um, none of this is glued together 
Um, if you've never used CPVC or anything like that, once you glue it, that stuff is concrete. It's never coming apart. Uh, so what you're, what you're left with, um, the all-thread rod may cost you a little bit. I actually uh, found some scraps uh, from the shop where I work. Um, so a few bucks for your all-thread rods, which are 10. Yeah, these are just 10 inches long, top to bottom. Um, not that they need to see that, but you hear me. 10 inches on that. Uh, you got to keep in mind your cut length is going to be an inch and a half shorter than center to center because your takeouts are three quarter inch. So if we set that there, these were cut somewhere around eight and a quarter to eight and a half on your middle section. For a grown up, I don't leave a whole lot of room for your hands, but it works for a kid and there's still some room out here to reach. Um, so is it the prettiest? Not necessarily, but now that it's got this nice coat of uh, matte black, it's coming together. Um, so with that, if you have any thoughts or suggestions, um, send them my way, leave a comment, like, subscribe. Uh, let me know if this works out for you. What I really wanted to do was what can somebody make who doesn't have a fab shop that doesn't have the ability to tack weld, um, bend steel, if you've got a real shop, you can do anything. Um, I'm about half and half. Uh, Elias, show him a quick shot of the mess over there. I've got the drill press, I've got the saw, table saw, the uh, vise. Um, nothing super special, but you may not have some of those things. They're gonna make your life a whole lot easier. And you know what, it makes you a lot of friends because when you have it, they need it. Nate, I'm talking to you. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Um, Isaiah, do you like this? Is it going to work better? You don't feel like you're going to hurt yourself anymore? Yeah. All right. Uh, lastly, since I've already said goodbye a couple of times, Teflon tape or lock nuts. I went with the, uh, I, I forgot to buy lock nuts. Um, once you secure those, nothing on this is ever going to move again. So... Thanks for checking it out.